and now into another collection, which is going to be my PlayStation collection. First of all, uh, what's up, everybody? This is me, Justin, back with you, and we're going to start the PlayStation collection off, and I have the games right here in the shelf, so I'm going to have to get them pretty good. First one up is Castlevania Chronicles, which... It's pretty good. It's based off of the uh, game for the Sharp X 68,000. And the next is another classic for the PlayStation, and that is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Often regarded as one of the best, as the best Castlevania game ever. The next. I did a video about me talking about this particular franchise, uh, not the franchise, but the fact that there's going to be a remaster of the first three games from this franchise, and that is Crash Bandicoot. Hardest game in the whole, in the trilogy, I think, but it's, uh, so good. Uh, next is, uh, its sequel, Cortex Strikes Back. Which is a good game. And then next up after that is a uh, Warped. Crash Bandicoot Warped. Which is a good game too. Some people say that this is the best Crash game. Others might say that it will go to like Crash Twin Sanity or something, but yeah, this is these are uh, this is a good game. Next up, Crash Bash, which uh, might not necessarily be the best uh, party game ever. But, uh, it's, uh, I guess it's alright for a Crash game. Up next is Crash Team Racing. The first ever kart racing game from Crash Bandicoot. But yeah, this is pretty good. It was the final Crash game made by Naughty Dog. And up next is Croc, Legend of the Gobbles, or Gobbles, or however you want to call it. Which I guess might be alright for a platformer. And uh, next up is a game show game, and that is. Family Feud. Which is uh, pretty good, I guess. Even though it does have Louie Anderson in, in it, but still. I, a lot of RPG fans really like this next game here. Some say it's the best game on the PlayStation, and that is Final Fantasy VII. Which is three discs, I believe. And no manual. And next up. I think this is Final Fantasy 8. Right here. They just released the 15th game, I believe, so. Whoops. Hold on. Up next is, uh, Frogger, which, there's an arcade game of the same name called Frogger. I think Konami made, made the Frogger franchise, I think. Anyway, I guess this one's... 
okay, but it's, I think it's been quite a long time since I last played it. I think there was a sequel to this game, too, that came out on the PlayStation. And uh, here's another game show game. It is Jeopardy, which is uh, pretty good. Well, I guess it's all right for a game show game. Could be the best Jeopardy game ever, actually, alongside the Super Nintendo ones and the 1998 PC version, which is the same thing. The clues, as far as the clues and stuff, I believe. But, uh, yeah, here's Jeopardy. And uh, up next, I don't have the manual for this one, but this is... Jeopardy 2nd Edition. Hmm. Not bad, I guess. Up next is the game I had as a... Or, I never... I don't think I had this one as a child, per se, but I did play it as a child. And that is... The Lion King, Simba's Mighty Adventure. So actually, this is a pretty easy game if you do it on the easiest difficult diff difficulty. Excuse me. Up next is Pac-Man World, and the, and the PS2 and the GameCube and maybe the Xbox also had the sequels, but this is the first Pac-Man World. And so, yeah, like Pac-Man, you'd probably like this game. And up next is the original Rayman. Yeah, there's still, excuse me, there's still a sticker on here, but oh well. <clears throat> I think this game came out the same year that I was born, so let me take a look. It says here 1997. I was born in 1995, so maybe not actually. Unless this, unless this when the greatest hits version came to play. And up next, this one isn't the actual case for it, but and I will not show the case, but I will show the disc to it. Rayman 2. Got got this at a gaming store that I like to go to. And next, it's probably a racing game. Uh, Rayman Rush. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna play this like once, maybe twice. Anyway, next up, if you were a Nickelodeon fan back in the 90s, you'd probably remember this show, Rugrats. And this is the game Rugrats Search for Reptar. I was a big fan of Rugrats back then. Anyway, next up. One of my two, one of my first two games on the PlayStation that I got anyway was a uh, Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. I guess it's a, excuse me. I guess this game's actually pretty good, based on a, a I think direct or maybe a, a TV move based off the TV movie of the same name. I think. I don't think it was in theaters, but anyway, this is Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Did I miss one? Actually, probably not. Actually, I don't think I did because uh, it's, off, it's alphabetized here. Now, the case for this is broken, but I do have the manual still for it and the disc, 
and that is Spider-Man. And of course, there was a 90s animated Spider-Man series, which I saw on uh, Jet X years and years ago. I think they're now known as Disney XD. And there's a new Spider-Man series out for that, but I probably won't. won't. I don't know if, I'll, if it's any good. Probably not. Anyway, next is Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. Which I got a uh, not at my gaming store that I go to a lot or more often, but to another gaming store. I found this and, of course, one of my N64 games, which was Super Paper Mario, and also one of my PS2 games. I'll just go ahead and say it right now, since I'm probably not going to show my PS2 collection anyway, because of how many games I have. But that is uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, I believe. But uh, this game here is pretty good. And yeah, I don't. I have a whole lot of games for my PS2, so if I didn't say it before, then that's why I'm probably not going to show it. Oops. I think there was a little mistake there, but that's all right. Anyway, we have next up is SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge, the other game I got with my PlayStation back in 2001, along with uh, Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Hmm. Uh, maybe the game's okay, but I don't really watch Spongebob anymore, so... Ah, oh, here's a good one. Since I am a platforming fan, you, this might not be a funny surprise to you that I have this next game, and that is Spyro the Dragon. Pretty good game, I gotta say. But we can do one even better with Spiral 2, Ripto's Rage. AKA Gateway to Glimmer, which this is called which is called in in the European region or the power region. But yeah, probably the best uh, spiral game ever. Anyway, next is the third and final game from the Spiral Trilogy on the PlayStation, Year of the Dragon. My, I think this is my very first ever Spiral game, too. Anyway, next up is... Uh, a game I believe I show uh, have for the N64 too, and that is Toy Story 2: Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. But uh, there was also a PC game that I actually have of Toy Story 2 based off this, which was called a Toy Story 2 action. It says Disney Pixar's action game Toy Story 2. It's the same thing, I think. It's I think uh, except on PC and not on consoles. Anyway, let's see what this next one is. Oh, yeah, I think I, I know what it is. Yeah, I know what it is. Excuse me. Here's another franchise here, and that is Twisted Metal. Not the original casing, but at least you can see the original picture for it, so... Even though there's no manual for it. But, uh, I do have a picture of it, at least, so... At least... Because the other one, the Rayman 2 game, didn't have the other, another picture that had the front cover on it, so I didn't show that. Anyway, next is, uh, I mean, didn't show the case for it, rather. But next up is Twisted Metal 2, which is good, for if you like car combat games. Next is Twisted Metal 3, which is, uh... Might not be the best game in the franchise, but I think there's a, a whole lot of Rob Zombie music in this and uh, that game as well as this next one, Twisted Metal Four. And I also have a. I think the only Twisted Metal game I don't have is uh, Twisted Metal uh, Small Brawl. I also don't have a version of. Uh, a PSP version of a 
head on. I do have the one on PS2 though. Anyway, next is uh, another game show game, and that is Wheel of Fortune. And up next after that, if I can get it out, is the second edition of Wheel of Fortune, which has those phrases in it that people like. And now only two games left, and they're both and they're both game show games, and they're based off the same game show. Who wants to be a millionaire second edition? And who wants to be a millionaire third edition? First edition didn't get released on the PlayStation, I don't think. And there you have it from my PlayStation collection. I will see you all for my next video.